Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for October 2022. This is a love reading for all Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everyone for all the support. I appreciate you all and send you that energy to attract more love into your own lives. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday. Then again on Monday, so if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So Friday reading will bring in aspects of money, career, love, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. So of course, today's reading is a love reading. Next week will be something totally different. Could be a Celtic cross style reading or a law of attraction tarot reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel... I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know about love, please? Messages for Gemini about love. All right, so we will start here. Drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. You have the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands. They have the Hierophant, the Devil, and I, which I love that those two together. That kills me. And the Moon. The advice here, we've got the Magician, the Hangman, Seven of Cups. Well, I do feel like there's going to be a decision here. You've got five major arcana. We only have nine cards here, so that's significant. Major arcana are major life events. You definitely have love here, so yes, it's in the cards. Um, I do feel like you have more than one option showing up here, but you've got Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn here. We've got water and fire going on here. Um, I mean, really, all the elements in the magician, but for somebody here, my gosh, You've got the arrows of love with this ace of wands and with the the ace, excuse me, the eight of wands. With that ace of cups, this is awesome energy. And I do feel like too with the queen of wands, you see how her legs are drawn apart. I kind of wish the empress was here because she has the same deal going on. That, you know, years ago when the cards were made, that was their way of representing um, the dynamic uh, chemistry. Okay, it's a sexually charged energy is what they're trying to say there. So with that Eight of Wands, things are going to move fast. And I do feel like it's true love with the Ace of Cups, but that Eight of Wands brings in a momentum. Eights are vibration, evolution. There's an underlying unity with this. So it's bringing things together. Eights are also about um, a vibration. So I do feel like you have somebody here who you are, you were already connected to, whether you've met them or not. Now, if you already have met them, you may have felt like it wasn't the first time, like it was somebody you were meant to be with. It feels predestined in some way. And what it really is, is that energetic alignment. With the Ace of Cups, so this is definitely an energy too, where this relationship will be completely transparent. I just feel like two people almost melting into each other. And with the Ace of Cups, it's, it comes straight from the heart. There's no pretense. There's no motive for it. It's just from the vibration of love. And that overflowing cup of love, you see these droplets. These are the yods of the tarot or yods, either pronunciation. They have it in their energy with the moon. That's Those are divine. It's the first letter of the name of God in Hebrew. Those are It's divinely guided and blessed. And so it is a union. And so for some of you too, it may move very fast here with this energy and especially with that queen of wands because there's a... The Queen of Wands is a card of loyalty, okay? So with this, I do feel like there's great loyalty, and it's also I'm getting in an integrity. You know, have you ever seen people who complain about their significant other or their spouse? That per There's no integrity in that relationship. This is the kind of relationship where you'll talk to each other. You know, why the hell are they talking to their buddy or their girlfriend and not telling their significant other. That doesn't even make sense. Who wants their advice? That's not their relationship. So I do feel like with this, it's going to be integrous. It's built on real love. And it's going to flourish with this. It's really a dynamic energy. So it might be a fire sign you're attracting. But they do have quite a bit of earth here too. <clears throat> now I'm going to get that in a minute. 
this is why I love it when these two are together. Okay, see, notice anything similar, right? They both have their hand raised, whereas the hierophant raises his hand and says, be still and know. The devil, on the other hand, says, hey, let me control this with my five senses. And so with this, I do feel like you've got an interesting dynamic coming in here. Um, the hierophant is a card of unity. You have it in your energy too. So I do feel like this person is trying to break free of a cycle. Now, they might be a little bit obsessed with you, but I don't feel like it's toxic with that devil energy. I do feel like they're trying to break free of a pattern, and they may have learned a very difficult lesson with a codependent relationship in the past. You're not looking for a project, and either are they. You know, we don't need to find people who need a lot of work. We're looking for somebody who's already leveled up spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, they're fit in all the areas. And so with this, I do feel like you're, that's what you're attracting. But I feel like for them, their energy with the devil has been a really, it's been a hell of a lesson they've learned. They may have been involved with somebody who had a drug or alcohol pro, uh, problem with that. And I do feel like with the energy of the moon, I, I feel like they tried, but it kind of took a lot out of them in that relationship. I don't feel like they're coming in with baggage, but I do feel like they've learned a valuable lesson. So with the Hierophant, their marriage material, this is a partner for life. It's somebody very tried and true. And as we talked about, you have loyalty, but so do they. They have the two, these two devotees here. They wear the Garden of the Magician on their robe. I'm going to just show you this because I think it's kind of cool. This is telling a story, okay? There's manifesting going on here. There's a reason why their, their robes have the garden and the magician and the magician showed up. They're trying to tell you there's no limit for you, Gemini. If you felt like relationships just haven't gone the way that you've wanted them to, this one will. And so with the energy of the moon, that's where hidden things come out, but it's a new cycle coming forward. And it's a new cycle that's gonna be highly emotionally charged I feel like for them, they are going to be head over heels. It's it, I, What I get off of this is it's like this is a relationship finally where they've gotten rid of the disease to please. They're not taking care of anybody. They don't have to with you anyway. And that it's going to be a real love relationship, something that's it's really in a, in a place where they are going to feel like it's the first time that they've ever had love with another person. Now, I also want to tell you, too, with the moon energy, everything comes from source. And so with the seed of the soul being pictured here, okay, all of our desires are connected with this. So meditate, write down the qualities, but I, they're also manifesting you as well with this energy of the moon and the sun together. The moon always mirrors the sun, and in the um, the card that comes after the moon is actually the sun. I feel like they see this relationship as a dawn of a new day, a breath of fresh air, a second chance in a way for them. So if they had something that was really nasty, I do feel like it's their answer that love love resides here. And so with this, I feel like it's going to be someone who's very committed to you, very integrous. And they love to, I mean, they are somebody who helps other people. But I do think they got sucked into something that just wasn't good for them. So breaking free of old toxic patterns. But now with this, this is really amazing. We love the energy of the magician. The, the magician signals that everything is available to you. There is nothing off limits to you. And what I like about the hangman here, the hangman is not so much a lapse in time as it is a period of time where you've released all resistance, surrender to win. You surrender your heart and your soul to this universe because you're here to grow and expand in this earth school. So the seven of cups comes in with, I do feel like there's a bit of a, uh, you know, this vetting process or something going on here. Now, I felt initially like the seven of cups was here to say that there's going to be maybe more than one person interested in you. And it's really, it's because of the energy you're exuding. So I wouldn't be surprised by that, but I do feel like you'll know the right one when they're here. Now, others of you too, there may be a decision going on if you've already connected with this individual about what to do next. The hangman brings in kind of an easygoing energy, which is going to be really nice if you're trying to decide what to do, like if it's going to be a move or you know, what, what do we want to do long term? You're looking at the future here. The hangman allows you to be in this place of a partnership, 
a true partnership. And so the hangman's the vision quest. It really is a change in your life where things start to move forward in a way that you've always envisioned. And with the magician here, it truly is a, a, a card that symbolizes you have, you both bring a lot to the table energetically, but it's a true match. Your deepest desires are being answered here. Everything you want is here. It's available to you right now, Gemini. And I think I did say they're also manifesting you. So let's see here what the angels have to say. And then we're going to have a love message from Louise Hay. <clears throat> what else does Gemini need to know, please? Advice for Gemini, please. Love messages for Gemini. All right, we've got here recovery, okay? That mind, body, spirit, like we talked about, being fit in every area. It feels like that recovery might be more related to them. Get more information. Well, with the Eight of Wands, the information's coming in. And you've got ask your angels. Ask and they'll tell you. Ask and they will give you the guidance and clarity that you seek. They say within the next few months. So I don't think I mentioned with the Hierophant, that's often associated with the numbers 3, 7, 12. But I also get December, January, all the way into March, things are going to be moving forward, attracting somebody, but really being in love. Now they say there's something better. So when you get that, especially if you've got a bit of a Seven of Cups thing going on in your life where you're getting people, but they're not quite right. They're trying to tell you the right one is here. So this is from Louise Hay. I am lovable. The less I love myself, the harder it is for others to love me. The more I love myself, the easier it is for others to love me and for me to recognize how loved I am. So I love you too, Gemini, and I'll be back again soon.